Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I have another Canva tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to bulk edit colors in Canva. So, here we go. The idea came to me uh, because yesterday I made another YouTube video where I showed you guys how to how I design a day planner in Canva. So specifically, I designed this Canva. Um, and if you want to see that video, just uh, look for the video in my channel. Um, and uh, after I designed it, I thought, uh, well, I, I designed, I had like a couple of versions. Um, so this is like the winter version and this is the fall version. Um, so basically the same planner with just different color scheme. And after I made that video, I thought, why don't I make a few of these? and um, give them away to my subscribers for free. And um, I have a newsletter. Uh, it's a free newsletter that I send out weekly with um, online business income and marketing tips. Um, I will leave a link to my newsletter in the description below. So, you know, in case you want to sign up. Anyway, so I thought I would give it away for free. So I was going to design it today. And um, here's the thing. When I tried to duplicate some of these, I realized that it would make a nice video tutorial for you guys to show you how to bulk edit colors to make your design process more effective, uh, basically. It will, it will save you a lot of time. So let me show you what I mean. So here's, uh, here's my fall um, day planner. And let's just say that I want to duplicate this design and because it's going to be very similar. So there's no reason for me to just, you know, um, add the same thing over and over. So to make the process easy, I just hit this duplicate page button right here and it duplicates the page. But the thing is that now I have two pages that are exactly the same, but I want one of these pages to be different. So let's say that I want this to be a winter themed, um, day planner, but the core design is not going to change. It's still going to have, let me zoom in. It's still going to have the day, uh, date, day, and the time slots and the to-do lists and meals and whatnot. The only thing I want to change uh, um, are going to be the colors and these graphics, like the fall leaves, for example. So right away, I'm just going to delete the fall leaves. But then my problem is, okay, how do I change all of these colors without having to go through them one by one? So here's what you do. So pay attention because I, I will point out one of the problems with the thing that I'm about to do. And then I'll tell you how to solve that problem. So let's say that I want to change the color of this date. So I will click that. And then I will go to text color up here. If you follow my cursor, the yellow blob. So I will click that and then that will open up the color panel. And let's say that this is, uh, this is going to be winter theme. So I want a blue color for, um, a bluish color scheme basically. So I've changed that. And right away when I change it, you see that over here, a button pops up. It says change all. So do you want to change all of this color with this color? So go ahead and click change all and boom, right away, that color has been replaced by the blue color. So this is exactly what we want, right? This is so cool. So I didn't have to go through them one by one. It's just change all of that color. Um, but the problem we run into is that here. So the fall planner, the fall themed planner that I have, the color changed over there too, but that's not what we want, right? We want this page to stay the same because this is the, you know, this is the fall themed day planner. And I want to change the colors only in the second page where it's going to be a uh, winter themed, which is going to be a winter themed planner. So let me go back. So control Z or command Z takes you back. Um, and now we are back to where we started. Now here's the thing. 
what I want to do is I will click the page, the entire page, the first page, and then I will hit the lock icon right here on the top of the page if you follow my cursor, this lock icon. If you click that, it locks the entire page and you cannot change anything in that page. And now if you come back to the second page and you try to change the color um, to blue and then you click change all, it changes all the colors to blue in this page, but it keeps the first page intact. It doesn't change anything in the first page because you locked that design. So that's exactly what we need. Um, specifically for this, uh, this design process, that's exactly what I needed. So um, let me just finish the whole process. So let's click the line now, and then let's change the line color. So border color, um, let's go to a bluish color and then choose something light, like so, like that maybe. And then click change all, that changes all of the line colors, great. Now let's click one of the um, check boxes and then change the border color to the dark blue color that we had and then click change all. Beautiful. Now let's change the uh, these texts. Uh, text color, the dark blue, change all. Great. And then let's let's click the border, or sorry, not the border, the background color for this one. Color, and then let's choose the light blue color. Actually, it's still kind of dark, so let's choose a lighter blue color, something like this, and then change all, and boom. It changed all of the colors for this document. It's cool, right? And then you can go to the Elements tab and then um, look for uh, relevant graphics, you know. I think yesterday in the video we used this graphic for our um, winter themed planner, something like this. And then we sent it to the back in terms of position. And then we gave it a transparency, something like that. And there you go. That's our winter themed planner. And then you can do the same thing again. You can lock, uh, you can duplicate this one and then lock this one and then change this. So if it's going to be like a summer themed, for example, let's pick, uh, let's click, let's get rid of this one first, this graphic, and then let's click date and then change it to like a green color. Um, maybe something like this and then change all that changes all of them to green and then you know you get the idea basically i'm not going to go through the whole thing but you can change like that where you know you can bulk change a lot of the elements um that saves up a lot of time for you right because you don't have to go through each one of them separately but at the same time within the same design it preserves if you lock a page it preserves that page pages style so nothing changes for the locked pages only the pages that are unlocked so anyway i thought i would share this with you today hopefully uh, going forward if you're making bulk designs you know planners or calendars and whatnot um, where you're just repeating the same design over and over and over, you can use this simple um, strategy, simple trick um, to uh, speed up your design process. Anyway, hopefully this was useful to you. And um, if you're not on Canva, by the way, I will leave a link to my 45-day Canva Pro link, um, affiliate link below in the descriptions. And that will give you 45 days of Canva Pro for completely free. And you can cancel that anytime if you don't want to use Canva Pro. Um, anyway, so just uh, wanted to let you know. And I will see you in a different video sometime soon. Bye.